welcome all in this edition of bar minimum series we will be seeing the part 2 of places in news for the month of september to december 2022 we have already discussed important places in the world now we will see the important places in india the first place is yangtze it is present in the upper reaches of tawang sector in the state of arunachal pradesh Recently, Chinese troops tried to unilaterally alter the status quo of the line of actual control in this region. So there was a clash between Indian troops and Chinese troops. This place is historically significant because of the presence of Tawang Monastery in this region. Tawang Monastery is also known as Galden Namge Monastery. It is the world's second largest monastery of Tibetan Buddhism. The first being Potala Palace in Lhasa in Tibet. The major tribal population in this region is Monpa tribes. Let's see it in the map. This is the state of Arunachal Pradesh, and this is where the Yangtze is located. And this sector is called Tawang. This is the region where the clash has happened between Indian and Chinese troops. The next place is Lothal. Recently, government of India has proposed to build the ancient city of Lothal. It aims to recreate the ancient site of Lothal in the times of Harappan civilization. It is one of the important trade centers of Harappan civilization, which is famous for its dockyard. In fact, it is one of the world's ancient dockyard. The site has been nominated for UNESCO's World Heritage Site, and its application is currently pending. So, currently, it is present in the tentative list of UNESCO. Now, let's see it in the map. It is present in the present-day Gujarat state. So, this is Lothal. It is present in the offshore of Gulf of Cambay. Let's also see other important sites of Harappan civilization in Gujarat state. The next important Harappan site in Gujarat is Dholavira. It is famous for its water reservoir system. And recently, it was added in the UNESCO's World Heritage Site. And the next important site is Surkotada, which is present to the east of Dholavira, and to the west of Dholavira, it is Desalpur. And right below the Lothal, there is another site called Rangpur. The next place is Kangkui Mangsar Caves. It is present in the state of Manipur. Recently, a colony of bats was evicted from this cave to make this place a tourist friendly. This place is significant from the perspective of both geography and history. Regarding geography, this cave is famous for its natural limestone formation. Regarding history, this cave has yielded a lot of Paleolithic artifacts. Also. During the World War II, this cave is used by the local people as a shelter when the Japanese forces were knocking at the gates of India through Myanmar. Let's see it in the map. This is the state of Manipur, and Kangkui Mangsar Cave is located at the eastern border of Manipur state. The next place is Debsong Plains. The India-China military dialogue held on December 20 last year yielded no results as both sides stick to their positions regarding the patrolling rights in. Debsong Plains and CNN Junction in Demchak sector. Now let's see the important flash points between India and China along the line of actual control in the map. This is the eastern sector of Jammu and Kashmir, and this line is the line of actual control. And the important flash points from the north are: first one is Debsong Plains, to its south it is Galwan Valley, to the further south northern bank of Pangangso Lake. And to its further south, southern bank of Pangangso Lake. This is the eastern sector of erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir, and this region is Aksai Chin. And the important flash points in the region are: from the north, it is Debsong Plain; to its south, it is Galwan Valley; and to the further south, it's Hot Spring; to the further south, it is Pangangso Lake; and to the further south, it is Demchok. So the important flash points are first Debsong Plains and Galwan Valley, Hot Spring, Pangangso, and Demchok. The next important places are Kalasa and Banduri. Recently, the Union government has approved the Karnataka's Kalasa Banduri drinking water project, which is facing stiff opposition from Goa and Maharashtra. 
This project aims to divert the water from Mahadayi River Basin to the deficit basin of Malaprabha River, which is a tributary of Krishna. Now, let's see it in the map. This is Mahadayi River, which rises in Karnataka in Western Ghats and flows westwards through Goa before draining into Arabian Sea. So, it is a westward flowing river. And this one is Malaprabha River, which is a tributary of Krishna. So, the project aims to divert the water from Mahadayi to Malaprabha at two sectors. The first sector is Kalasa, where it is joined here. And the second sector is Banduri, where it is joined here. So, it is Kalasa in the north, to the south of which lies Banduri. The next place is Tukatal Lake. It is present in the state of Uttarakhand. Recently, Uttarakhand High Court has ordered the state to stop all the construction related activities on the lake bed and posted the matter for further hearing. It is one of the freshwater lakes present in Nainital. Let's see it in the map. This is the state of Uttarakhand and Nainital is present in the eastern sector of Uttarakhand. So, this is the Nainital map and Sukhathal is present here. To the south of Sukhathal, Nainital Lake is present. So, Sukhathal present in the north. To its south, Nainital Lake is present. The next place is Manasbal Lake. It is present in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. After three decades, the lake is again open for training drills after the raging militancy has forced the Navy to abandon it. It is one of the freshwater lakes present in the Jammu and Kashmir. The Mughal Garden, also known as Jaroko Bagh, overlooks this lake. The Jaroka Bagh is built by Noor Jahan. Now, let's see it in the map. This is Manasba Lake. It is present in the central Kashmir. Near Jhelum River. It is also present to the south of Ular Lake. The next place is Tamarabarani. Recently, the district administration of Tirunal Valley and Bangalore based startup are using hyper local approach to restore one of the South Asia's oldest rivers, the Tamarabarani. It is also known as Porunai. Recently, Tamil Nadu Archaeological Department has unearthed ancient artifacts near this region, thus declaring it as the Porunai civilization. Another important information is Tamarabarani River is the only perennial river flowing in the state of Tamil Nadu. There are only two perennial rivers flowing in the southern part of India. One is Kaveri and the next one is Tamarabarani. This is Tamarabarani River flowing in the district of Tirunal Valley. It rises in the Agastir Kodam peak of Podiye Hills in Western Ghats. The next place is Nongknam Island. Recently, Meghalaya government had announced a special package worth 13 crore rupees for the development of tourism infrastructure and other amenities at Nongknam Islands in the West Kasi Hill district of Meghalaya. It is the second largest riverine island in Asia after Majuli Island in the state of Assam. This riverine island is formed by the Kinshi River. Now, let's see it in the map. This is the Nongknam Island. And this one is Kinshi River. And the Nongnam Island bifurcates Kinshi River into two major streams. One is Namliang River. And another one is Fandliang River. The next place is Katsail Island. It is a part of India's Nicobar Archipelago. A recent study by NASA has highlighted the Loss of mangrove covers on the Kachal Island. Now, let's see it in the map. This is Kachal Island present in the Nicobar Archipelago. Now, let's also see the sequential order of islands in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. To the extreme north, it is North Andaman, and to its south, it is Middle Andaman, and further south, it is Lower Andaman. And to the southwest of Lower Andaman lies the Sentinel Island, where recently 
the death of american missionary was reported and the southernmost island of andaman island group is little andaman the 11 degree channel separates little andaman and lower andaman and 10 degree channel separates andaman group of islands and nicobar group of islands and in the nicobar island groups in the north it is kar nicobar to its south lies the kachal island and to the further south little nicobar and finally the southern most point great nicobar here the india southern most point that is indra point is located in this great nicobar island the next place is arithapatti tamil nadu government recently declared arithapatti in madurai district as biodiversity heritage site it is tamil nadu's first and india's 35th biodiversity heritage site this site is surrounded by a chain of hillocks and insel bergs this site is famous for megalithic monuments rocket temples jain beds and tamil brahmi inscriptions there is an important lake present in this region known as anikondan lake which is built in 16th century we'll see it in the map this is tamil nadu state and arithapatti is located here the next place is ranipur union environment ministry recently declared ranipur in uttar pradesh as india's 54th tiger reserve it is present in the bundelkhand region of uttar pradesh it is a tropical dry deciduous forest it is the fourth tiger reserve in the state of uttar pradesh the other tiger reserves of uttar pradesh are first one is dudwa and second one is philibut and the third one is amangar tiger reserve amangar tiger reserve is the buffer area of jim carbet tiger reserve even though jim carbet tiger reserve is situated in the state of uttarakhand its buffer area is present in the state of uttar pradesh so this is ranipur tiger reserve which is present in the bundelkhand region of uttar pradesh now we will also see the recent five tiger reserves of india kamlang is the 50th tiger reserve in the state of arunachal pradesh created in the year 2016 and 51st tiger reserve is sri velliputtur megamalai tiger reserve in the state of tamil nadu created in the year 2021 and 52nd tiger reserve is ramgarh vishwadhari tiger reserve in the state of rajasthan created in the year 2022 and the 53rd tiger reserve is gurugasidas tiger reserve in the state of madhya pradesh created in the year 2022 and the 54th tiger reserve final tiger reserve is ranipur tiger reserve created in the state of uttar pradesh in the year 2022 the next place is asdio aranya it is a thick forest present in the northern part of chatisgarh state it is also called as the lung of chatisgarh state there was a protest in this site recently due to the coal mining let's see it in the map it is the hastio aranya forest where there was a protest against the coal mining it is present to the north of korba which is the industrial hub of chatisgarh the next place is ram setu tamil nadu government recently passed a resolution in its assembly regarding the beginning of setu samatram project setu samatram project is a navigation project which will involve dredging of shallow waters in the gulf of manna between rameshwaram and sri lanka this will enable indian ships to sail through the indian waters in the gulf of manna instead of circumventing the sri lanka so the setu samatram project involves a dredging in this region which will enable the ships to pass through this lane instead of circumventing sri lanka the next place is himal kaital it is present in the state of manipur external affairs minister jay shankar recently tweeted pictures of his visit to himal kaital in manipur calling it a great example of nari shakti powering economic growth himal kaital means mothers market it is a all women market and it is said to be the largest such shopping complex in asia male vendors and shopkeepers are banned here let's see it in the map in the state of manipur himal kaital is present here the last place is mehendi bazar it is present in mumbai in the state of maharashtra recently there were allegations of irregularities in the behendi bazar redevelopment project behendi bazar redevelopment project is arguably the single largest urban renewable project in the country so behendi bazar is located here in mumbai
Finally, we have completed the important places in news for the month of September to December 2022. We will see further places in the upcoming video. That's it for today. Thank you.